And welcome to the Five Awesome Knitters book review. The first one ever. This week I read Knit One, Kill Two by Maggie Stefton. This is a knitting mystery novel that takes place in Colorado when Kelly Flynn's, the main character's aunt, dies and Kelly goes up to Colorado to discover, <clears throat> I mean to, uh, take care of all of her aunt's affairs and then she realizes that her aunt's death is a little more suspicious than the police think it is. And then Kelly is inspired to go on all these adventures with all of Ellen, uh, her aunt's friends and discover about her aunt's past and so on and so forth. Now the general style of writing of this book was alright, nothing too spectacular. Um, my main problems with it were there were several typos, and I know that that's not really the author's fault, that's more of a publishing and editing kind of problem, but I just, I, I felt a little like it was unprofessional that there were, there were quite a few typos, um, as well as some of the characters were just annoying. Um, everyone in this town that the main character encounters, there's a lot of women because um, most of the story takes place in a, in a yarn shop and so most of these women in this story just sit around in this yarn shop and do nothing but talk to Kelly all day and be super nice and knit and it's just kind of like, don't you have a job? Um, don't you have a family? Like, I, I realize knitting is fun but uh, I have other things to do and everyone was just way too nice. I realized that you know, after a loss of a loved one, people are going to be nice to you, but I just felt like it was over the top. Just everyone in this town was like the nicest person you will ever meet, and um, it just wasn't very realistic. Um, so overall, I would not recommend this book to a friend. Um, the only thing uh, that I really enjoyed about it was that it was knitting, and I felt that it was, you know, an interesting idea to, to make an a mystery about knitting and it definitely made me want to pick up needles and knit so if I didn't know how I would definitely want to learn um, and I definitely you know wanted to start a project but I think that's just because I already know how much fun it is and that's the other bone I have to pick with this the main character at the beginning of this book didn't know how to knit and by the end of it her dead aunt's friends had taught her how and Kelly, the main character, picked up knitting entirely too quickly, and I thought that was another unrealistic thing. I mean, someone, like, sat down next to her, showed her one stitch, and explained it out loud, and then Kelly was doing it, like, the next day. And I realized that in a book, you can't, you know, sit there for a whole chapter and explain how knitting works, and I wouldn't want to read that either, but it was just, like, way, way, way too easy, and... And I'm not saying that knitting is difficult, I don't want to, you know, turn anyone off to knitting, but this was just ridiculously easy. <laughs> um, so, and, but uh, a, a good, another good thing about this book is there um, are two patterns in the back, one's just a scarf, so that's not really a pattern, and one is for like a, um, I don't know what you call it, a vest, but not really like a sleeveless sweater. What do you call those? Um, a sweater vest? Maybe? I don't know. But it doesn't have the v-neck. Whatever. Um, not that I'm going to make one. And it says that it has a recipe on the cover, but I think this is a used book and I think someone ripped it out. So I had no, I have no idea what the recipe was for or if it was good or anything. Um, but yes, so overall not one of my favorite books. I think I would give it, I don't know. But not a very good grade. Um, <laughs> so there you go. I just thought that I would share and have a Five Awesome Knitters book club. Next, I'm going to read The Friday Night Knitting Club by Kate Jacobs, and I have not started this yet. So if any of the subscribers at home want to join in and have some kind of discussion in a few weeks' time, I'm sure we could do that. Um, I won't be able to finish this by next week, but um, I'll let you guys know when I'm going to uh, make a video so that you guys can hopefully read along. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and I will see Jenny on Monday. Goodbye.